he managed to penetrate me against my will completely. And then all of a sudden I realized that he was putting his hand up my skirt. Donald just grabbed my ass. These three women say they were sexually assaulted years ago by Donald Trump. So this would have been at Mar-a-Lago, too? Right. Okay. Mindy McGilvray says it was at a concert at the Mar-a-Lago Club in 2003 when she was a photo assistant. A hard, like, grab on, on my right side. So I jump up. I'm startled. Jessica Leeds says it was on an airplane when she was traveling for work in the early 1980s. We're struggling. I'm trying to push him off of me and author E. Jean Carroll says it happened inside of a Bergdorf Goodman dressing room in the 1990s. The minute I was in that room, boom, the door closed and he shoved me up against the wall and I banged my head. Two of them say they decided to go public with their allegations after this explosive Access Hollywood tape leaked. Grab him by the do anything. Their tipping point, this moment at a presidential debate in October 2016. Are you saying that what you said on that bus 11 years ago, that you did not actually kiss women without consent or grope women without consent? I have great respect for women. Nobody has more respect for women than I do. Have you ever and done those women things? have respect for me. And I will tell you, no, I have not. I jumped out of my seat and I pointed to the TV and I'm like, you son of a bitch, you're a liar. For the past few years, a reckoning has roiled the nation as women have spoken out under the banner of Me Too. Powerful men in media, entertainment, business and government have been forced to reckon with allegations of misconduct and violence. The women who spoke out against Trump have been cheering on the movement, but they have also watched their alleged attacker get elected president of the United States. She would not be my first choice, that I can tell you. And deny all of their allegations. Trump really is Teflon. It just slides right off of him. Things that he has done, he doesn't seem to pay the price for it. How can he serve the United States of America as the president when he has hurt countless women? Countless. Nobody's held him accountable yet. Not one person. More than a dozen women have come forward with a wide range of accusations against Trump. I was forcibly kissed by... From unwelcome advances to sexual harassment and assault. He was all over me, hands everywhere. Trump's most recent accuser detailed her alleged assault in a new book. Since coming out, these women say they have received support, but also furious backlash. One even described death threats. I'd seen what happened to Jessica Leeds and Mindy. I had seen it vehement denials and how dare they come forward. The question these women are grappling with, what does justice or accountability look like? It's a totally false accusation. When the accused is the most powerful man in the world. Oh, total jail time, total jail time for the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. For him to lose the election in 2020. I would like to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making you uncomfortable. I'm sorry for disrespecting you or hurting you in any way. Some worry that they will be entirely left behind by the Me Too movement. We are the forgotten ones. I feel like we have been brushed aside and forgotten about. But Trump's latest accuser says she is more hopeful. There is a way. I know there's a way because women are angry. Hey, Twitter world, it's me, yours truly. You know, I know I've been away for a while, but I don't know what's going on with America. <laughs> you know, today I was told that this individual, let's call him person A, stated that he thought person B should not have a right to public expression. His away for a while was nine years in prison. O.J. Simpson there last month joining Twitter. The person A he was referring to, we believe, is Howard Stern. Howard Stern, once known as what's called a shock jock. Admittingly so, he said. He would push the envelope. It worked, of course. He's now on serious radio, big star. Well, he's not holding back when it comes to his feelings about O.J. Simpson. He says he should be nowhere on Twitter, not have a voice. Howard Stern was speaking to Ron Goldman's sister, Kim Goldman on a serious radio show last week. Here's part of it. You think Twitter should throw uh, OJ off? <laughs> what do you think? I say yes. Why what do, do you, you say? Why, why do you say Why yes? do I say yes? Because, um... What would be the grounds, Howard? You'd have to have I don't need grounds. I own Twitter. <laughs> see, if I own I Twitter, see. a lot of people would be thrown off. <laughs> yeah. I just think, just to, just to save you the grief of seeing him out there. 
OJ, as you know, was acquitted of killing his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and Ron Goldman in 1995. He also served more than nine years in prison in Las Vegas on a robbery and kidnapping conviction.